AutoCAD crashed. It's terrible. You open up your file and nothing you've done is there. Okay, AutoCAD saves us from this in a couple of ways. Okay, one way that it does it is by making what are called back files when we save our drawings. Okay, and those are located in the same folder with our drawings. And you'll see them down here called back. Okay, every time you save a drawing, it saves the last version that you saved as a back file. So let's say you had done what you were supposed to do and saved your drawing just you know a few minutes before you happened to crash, then you can reopen that one without losing a lot of work. You do that by renaming it. Okay, rename. Um, and usually I name it something that um, I can tell was a back file and then you type dot DWG so that instead of being a back file it becomes a drawing that you can open. Okay, so where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, so let's let's open it and see hopefully hopefully we got some stuff back. Okay. And you'll see, oh yeah, there are all the dimensions I drew. Okay, that's great. Okay. But what if it's not there? Okay, because that happens. Sometimes everything isn't there. Sometimes enough of the stuff isn't there. Maybe you didn't remember to save every, every 20 minutes or something. Maybe you worked for an hour and you were so focused that you forgot. Luckily, AutoCAD saves us from ourselves. Okay. We're going to go over here and look at the autosave functions under the options. Okay, you can just type options if you want to make it easier. Okay, under the Open and Save tab, you'll see here it says Automatic Save, 10 minutes between saves. Okay, there we go. And this is the file extension for those temporary files. So that's great. You could just, you know, search your hard drive for that file extension. Right? And you can tell I've done this a lot of times. I just type the star dot ac dollar sign, and it's not finding any. Hmm. Okay. So if it doesn't find any, let's go here. Files, automatic save location, and we're going to go to this location right here. And we can literally just type that right here. Okay. We can type c colon users, Lisa, app data, local, temp. Once again, I've done this a lot of times. And there you will see many, many files of the type we're looking for, including one that was just saved a few minutes ago, and it's called an autosave drawing. Okay, so what you're going to do here the first thing you're going to do is you're going to copy this and you're going to put it in the folder with your other drawings. Okay? <coughs> the next thing you're going to do is just like the back file, you're going to rename it um, something that you can remember what it was. Okay? Dot DWG. Okay? So I just renamed that C Sherman A Save. DWG. Now then, let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, I have to close that window first. And then AutoCAD opens it, and you will see your changes at that point. And those will be the most recent ones that you'll have. Less than 10 minutes old. Hopefully that saves you a little bit of work. Okay, thanks so much.